Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Escape into Space. I'm so glad you called. When did you get back? This afternoon, we just checked back on Earth. How's Rocky? Oh, fine. Fine, we're both fine. Cases full of money aboard the spaceship. I'm set for life. Is there anything made of wood on a space wagon? This. Oh yeah, here. Knock on wood. Well, we're on our way, huh? You better secure for blast off. He's a little tied up, but I'm available. Object a date. Oh, I'm so sorry, Winky, but I have a date. Give my love to Rocky. Yeah, sure. Okay, Judy. Sorry you've got a date. Yes, isn't it a shame? Call me tomorrow, Winky. Yeah, sure. Winky, I might have known it was you. Oh, I I'm sorry, Secretary Drake, sir. Rocky. Mr. Secretary, Truck Harmon has just started an unlicensed flight, Rocky. A last chance move to avoid arrest by Earth authorities. We'll be right over, sir. 
Truck Harmon, eh? You've been waiting for a chance to lock horns with that guy. To my knowledge, Truck Harmon has never left Earth before, so the Space Rangers had no legal right to act against him. However, I prepared this report for federal authorities on Harmon's illicit traffic in the weed. They subpoenaed him yesterday to face charges. Mr. Secretary, Truck Harmon has left Earth's atmosphere, so now he's under the authority of the Space Rangers. He's your man, Rocky. Go get him. Thank you, sir. Repair and maintenance are swarming all over the orbit jet, Rocky. With a little luck, we should make it by noon tomorrow. Should we take another ship, sir? Ours aren't of prime importance now. By morning, we should have a pretty good idea of Harmon's destination. Look here, Rocky. We've got a 50-50 chance it's great news. Wait, let me guess. This great news has something to do with a very pretty little girl who's far away on Fornax. Now, how did I guess? Is she coming here? Better than that, we're going to Fornax. Well, maybe we're going there, because maybe Rocky's going there. It's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> This completes a tri-directional check. Without doubt, Truck Harmon's destination is Fornax. Linky, alert maintenance for blastoff. Yes, sir. I heard him talking. Maybe it would be Fornax. I got Rocky alone and asked if we couldn't go. He said no, but it wasn't a real lab now. So, we've got a 50-50 chance. I've done half of the talking, and the rest is up to you. A little louder, Bobby. I can't hear you. Any trace of truck Harmon ship, Rocky? No, not since we were forced off course for that last streak here. Yeah. Check three o'clock, Rocky. I think there's a meteor pack bearing down on us. Try to climb over it, sir? Not a chance, Rocky. Take a 90 degree port turn. We'll ride along with it. Our port, sir. Nina, Bobby. Yes, Rocky? It's secure for meteor interference. Right now. Check the slightest side drift. If a meteor crashes, this broadside will be done for. Aye, aye, sir. Who starboard rockets? W40.2. Starboard rockets, W40.2. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Am I getting through to anyone? This is the XV2. Come in, identify. This is Chuck Harmon. You hear that? Chuck Harmon. We've been hit by meteors. Come and save me. The man who gets here first will be rich. He can live off the fat of the land. Hey, Rocky, what about a nice plump acre or two? Where are you, Harmon? Here in the spaceship. Hurry up and save me. He wants our position, Trump. This is Lawson on the R-74. Our position is Celestial Meridian 86 degrees, parallel 42 degrees. We're badly damaged by direct meteor hit. Space suits in damage section. Heavy seepage throughout ship. We'll try to keep pressure up in control chambers. Hurry up. If you save me, you'll be rich. Rich, do you hear me? We're on our way, Lawson. Change course, Winky? Yes, sir. I got the position. Suitcases. The money. Where is it? Where is it? Well, 
the suitcases. Go get them. The truck. Go get them. Go get him. Go get him. carefully to instructions. You and Lawson are to stay forward as far as possible. I'll try to cut an escape hatch through the second section. Don't go near the door until I give the order. Do you understand? Yeah, 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 I got it. But hurry, do you hear me? Hurry! Magnetized object on starboard. I ask you. Second section and pressurize the balance over here. Aye, aye, sir. Winky? Yes, sir. You can tell Harmon it's safe to come out now. my best to save Lawson, but I couldn't. It's the brakes. They, they go against the guy. It's too bad.
I'm lucky. With your spaceship battered by the meteors, you have to head for the nearest moon. And that's Fornax, just where I was going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm lucky. Go ahead, Bobby. Whistle if you want. You're an invited passenger on the orbit jet. <whistles> You're a big man, Harmon. Yes, a power. But I hear you have a weakness, superstitions, a fear of things. Go ahead, Bobby. Whistle. It isn't the sound of whistling. It's a bad luck you think goes with it. I hear you can't stand the dark, huh? Just sleep with the lights on, that you're afraid. I'll have to abandon your ship, Harmon. man, this truck Harmon. Can I deport him? Can I say he's not welcome on Fornax? Of course, Zorvac. But you can't force him to return to Earth. You'll be asked to furnish transportation to any moon he selects, and he'll be more than welcome on a thousand moons. He's as rich as any man in the universe. Oh, look, Rocky. We kick the dents out of the orbit jet, see? Then we refuel her and invite Mr. Harmon aboard. Just like that, we got him back on Earth. No, Winky. We've worked hard at framing interplanetary law and done our share in enforcing it. We can't go against the laws of freedom and immunity or how much we want Mr. Truck Harmon back. Nice little place you have here, Zorvac. Very nice. Oh, it must be rough living by the book. I don't think I'll try. Oh, of course you'll stay in business, Harmon. You control the traffic of the tarantula weed from Earth. You can do the same thing from Pornex. This man annoys me. <laughs> what can you do, Rocky? What can I do? If you ask me, I'm still for breaking a few laws. We'll curtail his activities as much as possible and hope for a break. changed an awful lot up here on Fornax, Bobby. It's almost like living on Earth. Christmas is a regular thing now. And last year, we even had a Santa Claus. Zorovac? Yes, and he was very good. What month is it now back on Earth? October. Let me see. Next comes Thanksgiving and then Christmas again. You left out something important. What's that? Halloween. Halloween? Gosh, I guess I forgot to tell you. Halloween's a day for a lot of fun. You go around scaring people. Scaring people? Is that fun? Oh, sure. Nobody really gets scared. Everybody knows there's no such things as goblins, witches on brooms, and dancing skeletons, and things you can't even see saying boo. But you pretend to be scared. And really, Volica, it's a lot of laughs. Halloween. Lawson, the man on the ship. I'm sure Harmon murdered him. At least he cut off his escape, which is the same thing. Without a doubt. Now, that's a crime in space, and they were both Earthmen. If we had any positive proof at all, we could take him back and end this rotten business. Yeah, but the only trouble is it's his word against our thinking, and you know how his words come out. Vina! <laughs> This fourth moon is that. See, Bolica, isn't it fun to scare people? Oh, yes. But I don't think they were pretending. Vina wasn't. Neither was Winky. Bobby, how could you? The 31st, Vina. Halloween, remember? Okay, so it's Halloween. Now, what is that thing? Bring in our ghost, Bolica. Presto, 
don't change you. You remember Winky. We used to play with these remote control gadgets and see who could get them through a hoop first. Well, a scarf with a couple of holes in it made it a ghost. Who can we go scare now, Bobby? Hey, Rocky. Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Oh, well, give me credit. I thought of it, too. density of that wall will be unable to make visual pickup on visiograph. But Truck Harmon's words are what we're after. You ready, Vina? I won't miss a word. Did we miss anything? No, the show's just starting. Hello, Truck. Who is it? Who's there? Truck, can you forget so soon? Who is it? Come, truck. Leave me alone. What is it? What do you want? My life back, truck. You murdered me. I, I lost my head. It it's the brakes, that's all. You don't call murder a brake. I, I got panic. I, something forced me to seal that door. It, it might have been my life, too. What's your life worth now, Trump? What do you mean? What are you going to do to me? Please, what are you going to... Confession of crime in space is a one-way ticket to Earth. Oh, yes, April Fool's Day. And I'll bet he was born on it. Climb aboard, youngster. Bye, Valica.
us next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger.